What's good, A and B fam? It's your girl Asia, and it's your boy BJ, and, and we, we back like we never no left. Ups. We appreciate y'all for pulling back up, pulling back in, and going on this journey with us, yeah. which is Breaking Bad. Cold. And uh, <laughs> last where we left off at, uh, Jesse was getting interrogated by I think the feds, and then also I think Hank yeah, about to come in there too. Money out the window. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you that just never happens in in today's real life. Uh, when I saw that, when I saw that, I was like, "No way!" Like he really, really lost it, and then he was just going around on the merry-go-round, like he just in a whole nother world. I feel like he really just he just out of it now, right. and uh, hey, I feel like he just has nothing else to live for. Yeah, same. You know, yeah. he doesn't even want the money, basically. Ba yeah, you're right. You're right, y'all. So <clears throat> make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ, y'all. Head over to our Patreon. Tap into all of our unedited, uncut videos including this tv series y'all breaking bad Absolutely. okay it's all over there as well as our behind the scenes footage patreon posts all that good stuff y'all make sure y'all tap in it's a great time and you can help support the channel okay so let's go ahead and jump into this video y'all hey, let's get into it yeah y'all oh jesse 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 Mr. Pinkman, how are you today? I want to talk to you about your partner, Heisenberg. See, I know he's my brother-in-law, Walt. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Lucky for you, I'm more interested in him. You help me out here? Maybe I'll talk to my friends at the APD and make all this go away. Why don't you try and beat it out of me? That's your thing, right? Wow. Help me out here, Jesse. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Don't do it, What is he going to say? I know you want that. Uh-oh. you want to talk. No, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Not to you. Oh. Agent Schrader, beat any good suspects lately? Uh, tall and taller, ask him about his history with my clients. I know. He knocked the poor kid unconscious last time they were alone together. Okay, I'm going to try to remain calm. Did you hit your head or something? What did you say to Schrader? Thing. Chill out. Chill out. No, no, I don't chill out because things have gone nuclear. Just use the money that I gave you and call me when he's out. Saul came in at the right time for Jesse. Right. Because he was about to squeeze him. <laughs> squeeze it out of him. I'm going to head out, okay? Where are you going? Anne Marie just called. She wants me to help her with some computer thing. Is that cool? Heck no. Uh, I, I guess cool. that. Uh, uh, Wait, she, uh, she straight ducked out. Son, I just want to talk. Okay. That's the last place he needs to go. My latest scans show a, a little shadow on my lung. Just don't worry about this, okay? I know that's hard, but I beat this once. Hmm? Okay. So why don't you go on and help your Aunt Marie with your mom? No. No, no way. Uh, I'm staying. How'd it go? That bad, huh? I didn't tell. Why not? You've got to tell them now. It's just going to be worse if they find out that you've kept this from them. I'm not keeping anything from anybody, Marie, okay? Jesus. Don't tell me how to do my job. I see. I see the issue that Hank is having right now. Mm -hmm. what? Marie just don't understand. Are yeah. you sure about this? It's the only way. Whoa, wait a minute. My name is Walter <clears throat> Hartwell White. This is my confession. What confession? Right, what what is he gonna confess to? Oh no, no, no. He better not. I gotta know what he said on the tape. No. Here. Oh here. Oh gosh. They showed up. Oh, you know they No, they gonna show up. <laughs> they invited them? At least it was to a public place. Look at Hank. <laughs> Better hope I don't jump over this table. <laughs> it's going to be so awkward. Look. Oh, look at that look. Skylar and I. Welcome to Gardunios. My name's Trent. I'll be taking care of you today. I, I think we're fine. We need some time with the menu. No worries. Be right back with some water. Look at Hank. <laughs> no. 
Oh. You ever confess? There's nothing to confess. We're here to talk about Walter Jr. Flynn and Holly should be living with us. End of story. We think that your concern is misplaced. Junior has been through a lot already this year. You are just... This investigation, you realize what this will do to him, hearing these things. He's gonna hear it when I kick in your front door and arrest you. You have no evidence to support your claims. Why tear this family apart? Wow. So, how about that guacamole? <laughs> we make it right here at the table. Look at him. Look at that grumpy face. I know. Look at look. Just give you guys a few more minutes. Even a waiter can feel the tension. <laughs> look, whatever you think he did, this is not an ongoing situation. It's over. There is nothing to go after here. How can we believe anything you say? Where the lies begin and end. That affair of yours? Did that even happen? Please, oh. Junior just found out that my cancer is back. Oh no, she did. He's not. already facing the idea of living without his father. It's just not right. I swear to God, you start throwing the word right at me. What I mean was a right to run a drug empire. Right there to is no to drug empire. Lying into your son. What do I have to do to make you believe me? Why'd you kill yourself, Walt? What? What? Damn. You yourself. This whole thing dies with you, right? That's what you're saying here? Let it go and wait for you to die. Wow. Well, maybe you should just go ahead and die then. Oh, it's cold. That's not a solution. He's not getting off that easy. And the same goes for you if you stick with him. Uh-oh. Enough with the bullshit. Oh. There's only one solution. Step up, be a man, and admit what you've done. That's it. Well, he made a confession tape. <laughs> but, but what's on it, though? <laughs> a confession. Uh oh. Oh. This... My name is Walter Hartwell White. This is my confession. If you're watching this tape, I'm probably dead, murdered by my brother in law, Hank Schrader. Oh. Hank has been building a meth empire for over a year now and using me as his chemist. Oh. Shortly after my 50th birthday, he asked that I use my chemistry knowledge to cook methamphetamine, which he would then sell using connections that he made through his career with the DEA. I was... <laughs> I was particularly vulnerable at the time. What? Something he knew and took advantage of. I was reeling from a cancer diagnosis. Hank took me on a ride along and showed me just how much money a small meth operation could make. Oh. I was weak. Hank had a partner named Gustavo Fring. <laughs> Hank him into servitude to this man. Hank and Fring had a falling out. Fring was able to arrange, I guess you call it a hit. Hank was seriously injured. And I wound up paying his medical bills, which amounted to a little over $177,000. Oh in recovery, gosh. he plotted to kill Frank. The bomb that he used was built by me. <laughs> oh my contemplated suicide. To keep me in line, he took my children. <laughs> my wife had no idea of my criminal activities. What? Do you see this? I can't believe what I'm seeing. All I could think to do was to make this video and hope that the world will finally see this man for what he really is. Oh, the tears. Wow. <laughs> I'm floored. <laughs> Anybody who knows you will know. $77,000. See, he didn't know about that. What the hell is he talking about? Uh-oh. They told me it was gambling money. Oh, Jesus Christ, Marie. What about my insurance? Insurance wouldn't have covered the treatment that you needed, and I... Oh, Christ, Marie. There's no way you can weasel out of this. They killed me here. I mean, it's the, it's the last nail. It's the, that's the last nail in the coffin. That's it. What do we do? He gonna set him free. That right there did it. They have to be quiet. Right? Yeah. He sure can't do nothing with that confession tape. No. You can't show, show nobody that. They're going to like, they like Hank up. What they doing? 
Man, that's the coldest confession I've ever seen. Man, right? Everything that he said, and it's crazy because it's almost like if you try to take me here, I'm a, I'm gonna give this story, right. and it sounds so believable. Because he's the he's the smoking gun in it all. Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's Walter. No, that's Heisenberg. Uh-oh. What does he know? I mean, he knows you're Heisenberg. What did he say exactly? He wants me to inform on you for him. I don't think he's told the rest of the DEA. Why do you say that? He was acting kind of shady. He didn't want the other cops hearing what he had to say. Jesse, will you let me help you? I don't like to see you hurting like this. Maybe it's time for a change. Kind of change. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's time for you to just leave all of this behind. Don't look back. Saul knows a man. He specializes in giving people new identities. He set you up with a whole new life. Maybe it's exactly what you need. Clean slate. Meet a girl. Start a family even. Hell, you're still so damn young. <laughs> and what's here for you now, anyway? In a few years, this might all feel like nothing more than a bad dream. Hmm. Is that what you think? <laughs> I mean, is it really that easy? Would you just, for once, stop working me? What are you talking about? I stop jerking me around? <clears throat> Jesse, I am not working you. Yes. Yes, you are. Drop the whole concerned dad thing and tell me <laughs> the truth. Concern. I mean, you're, you're acting like... Me leaving town is is all about me and turning over a new leaf, but it's really about you. I mean, you need me gone. Just say so. Just ask me for a favor. And it's either this or you'll kill me the same way you killed Mike. Oh. Whoa. I mean, isn't that what this is all about? For me to way the hell out of here? Can you lower your voice? <laughs> In case I say no. What you think? Come on. Tell me you need this. Walt is a master manipulator. That's true. He do need Jesse to leave, though. Oh, uh-oh. Aw. Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. I just hope it's real. I just hope it's genuine this time. I know. Oh, look, babe. Cause he hurting. Jesse's hurting for real. He, he wow. been through. He been through just as much as Walter has, if not more. Like Jesse don't have nobody to lean on. He don't have no family. Right. You know. He really don't have friends. Last chance. You sure there's nobody you want to say bye to? Nobody at all. I need a new dust filter for my Hoover Max Model 60. Can you help me with that? One hour. Okay, he'll be there. Wow, that quick? I'm done. Your benefactor asked me to send you out with something extra. Get you started, you know. Provided, of course, you don't toss it out the window on the way. <laughs> Might want to think about making a budget. Hey, whoa, whoa, you can't fire up a doob in here. Put that out. This guy is not going to take you if you show up high. Now give with the dope. Why, well, Saul came in handy keeping Jesse's money, didn't he? <laughs> he did. Christ. Corner of Wantabo and Osuna. You, you're going to sit and wait. This guy's punctual with a capital P. So do I get to pick where I go? If I imagine you get a say. What about Alaska? Alaska. I never figured you for a big moose lover, but whatever folks. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, Jesse. That's it. I mean, is it? Excuse me. <laughs> you blocking the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> Big door blocker. Where's... Is he on the side of the road? Yeah. Why would he drop him off that's right not, there? That's not a good pickup spot. No. Look like he on like the outskirts of town. It looked like he don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looked like he waiting for somebody. Oh, the phone. What's wrong with him? 
I don't know. What is it? What is it? I don't know, but they pulling up. What is it? I'm I don't so, know. I'm so confused. Well, he skipped out on that. I don't know either. I don't know what he's doing. Hey, man, you can't go in there. He in no show. Why didn't you... Whoa, wait. Stop! Was it a setup? Get in here! Wait, wait. Oh, no. Back off. You stay where you are. I don't know what happened here. What did I do? You stole it off me. You and Andrew took a run out of my pocket, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I told you I couldn't risk the guy not taking you. No. Before. The cigarettes. What? The ricin cigarettes. Oh. And all for that asshole, Mr. White. He poisoned Brock and you helped him. I'm sorry. Yes, okay, I had Hugh lift the cigarette. He told me he was helping you. I never would have agreed to it if I know what he was going to do. Oh. Just you got to believe me. I don't want any of this. Don't do it, Ditch. No, no, no. Oh, my gosh. Back up. Wow. How did he... I was trying to figure out why he was looking at the cigarettes, but he figured that out. What did he say? I don't know how, but he figured out that Saul took it. You big problem. That's huge for Jesse to find out that he poisoned Brock. I don't get, I don't know. When did that happen though? And why would Walter poison Brock? That's when, that's when uh, Walter had told Jesse that Gus had, had poisoned Brock. Yeah. Oh. Walter really did it with the, the Lily of the Valley, whatever that is. I just don't know how Jesse figured that out by looking at the cigarette stuff. Oh, see, look, he don't care. Don't wait. Wait a minute. That's that, that's gasoline. No, that stuff away. is flammable. No freaking way. Whoa, 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 whoa! This this just took a wrong turn right here. What in the world, though? Again, I, I just I'm so confused. I just don't know how Jesse figured it out by looking at the cigarettes, but he figured out Saul took that 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 cigarette from him. Yeah. To make to make it look like Gus did it. But I don't remember Walt ever saying anything to Saul to tell him to take a cigarette or to get anything or do he, anything. No, nah, he didn't. They don't. They don't show that he's telling them, but he did. Yeah, but 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 why would Walter poison? Oh, because I guess he wanted to. He, he make wanted to make it look like Gus, Gus did, it. did it. Right. Exactly. So he could get Jesse back on his side. I just had a feeling that was gonna come back to bite Walt in the butt. So you smell the gas. Where's Jesse? Oh, oh, the carpet is soaked. You show yourself right now. He come in there like he the police or something. Where is he? Oh no, babe. No. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Maybe just because they never showed that part. Right, they didn't show it. But I'm trying, like you, I'm trying to figure out how the heck he would figure that out by... By looking at the, the pack of cigarettes. Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Don't do it. Don't do it. Wait, wait. No. He's in there somewhere. Babe, I just feel he gonna jump out. He not in the bushes? Where I have no idea. At this point, Jesse and Walter's relationship is beyond repair. But Jesse figuring in, finding this out, 
and that happened so long ago, and he's still keeping that from him, along with Mike, like, it's just, it's unrepairable. Oh. Give me a touch. <laughs> hey. He got hey, me from cleaning the carpet. Listen, Jesse, I mean, obviously, you've changed your mind here, and, and, and I know you're angry. I want to fix this, okay? We'll talk, and we will fix this. So Jesse don't have his phone. Didn't he say the DEA has his phone? I replaced the door jam and the striker plate. Yeah. Switch us out, we'll be good to go. Go ahead. Oh, no, no. That area is still pretty bad. Right, right. We'll have to go over this a lot more. Well, we've made three passes already. Well, the smell has got to be gone completely. Until you pull this up and get new carpet, new padding, this is as good as it gets. Uh-oh. So she gonna smell it anyway. <laughs> I can't see that you could get gas up off the, out that carpet that fast. There's no way. What is he doing? I don't know. Look, 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 like, look like he about to cook again or something outside. Oh, my God. He's trying to make it look like nobody came in the house pouring gas all over the carpet. What is he doing? No! <laughs> put a couple drops here, put a couple drops there. Not gas! I mean, how else do you explain it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I, I, babe. I, I want to see this explanation, though. You know, Walter, he can, he can come up with some ideas, he can come up with some lies, so... <laughs> He's so clever. <laughs> is that gasoline? Hey, over here. What happened? What happened is that I should sue someone. So I'm on my way to the drugstore and I have to stop to get some gas. Total pump malfunction. This is as good as it gets. I bet that whole house smells like gas. Look at him, look at yeah. So I'm standing there filling up, and I hear a chunk, the, the metal thing, the thing you squeeze, right? I hear a chunk. So I, <laughs> I suppose in my naivete, well, I pull out the hose to put it back, and whoosh! Yeah, I am suddenly soaked in gas. <laughs> Tell them, what do you mean? Y you fainted, didn't you? Because you're sick again. Oh. You were pumping gas and, and the fumes. Just, just admit it. I, 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 maybe, but I did not faint. I'm fine, and that's the truth. However, I don't think we can stay here. I mean, not until we get new carpet. Yeah. Hey, what about a hotel? <laughs> that could be sweet. Uh, a good one. He definitely, he definitely can't let somebody know that, he, that somebody tried to burn the house down. No. I think this will leave a scar. Dang. I never should have let my dojo membership run out. Look at his nose. Jesse did that? Yeah, but you gotta understand, deep down, he loves me. <laughs> Where is he? Still looking. Maybe he changed his mind about leaving. If somebody misses their first chance with my guy, there's no second. Well, keep looking. What then? Jesse is upset about the boy. I just need to explain to him why that had to happen. Just for the sake of argument, the kid's not in the mood for a nuanced discussion of child poisoning. You know, right. You have a suggestion? Maybe this isn't an old yeller type situation. Send him where Mike went to. Old yeller. <laughs> yeah, old yeller was the best, most loyal dog that ever was. Oh, you mean you saw the movie? <laughs> You're full of colorful metaphors, aren't you, Saul? <laughs> Belize, old yeller, just brimming with advice. Hey, that's the best I could think of. Right. <laughs> Do not float that idea again. Find him. At least he don't want to cause harm to Jesse. At least that. But look, he got ice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ice bucket. Yeah. Sorry. Room key wouldn't let me into the ice room, so I How's Saul doing? Oh. Oh. Saul? Goodman? I have no idea. No? You were just out talking to him in the parking lot. Oh. 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 Oh, oh that. I'm sorry. Were you spying on me? You know, I wow. came along with your pump malfunction bullshit, but now I would like to know what's going on. Oh, please don't tell me about Jesse. It's no big deal. Just me being overly cautious. 
Jesse Pinkman? Well, he... he got upset over this... something he thinks I did. Are you telling me that he tried to burn our house down? Obviously, he changed his mind. And how does that work? Look. Just spill the beans, Walter. Right? Just say we, it. You've got to understand that with, with Jesse, he, he has a tendency to fly off the handle, that's all. So he has never hurt anybody? No. What if he goes and he flips on him? I don't think he'll do that. I don't think Jesse want to go to jail. Well, Hank told him that he would let him he would let him go so, free. What's your course of action here? Saul's guy, Kubi, tracks him down, and when he does, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to him. Make him see reason. She, she see the path this is going down. These are just euphemisms you're using here, right? Wait what does that mean? Jesse didn't go there to hurt anyone. He poured gasoline all over our house, Walter. He changed his mind. He didn't do it. Did what he? if he changes it back? <laughs> right. You need to deal with this. How much have you had to drink? <sighs> Clearly. Saying that I just... What, what exactly are you saying? The same thing Saul said. She going, she going this far. What's one more? Wow. You, now she talking that talk now. Yeah. Uh, oh. What, what? Oh, no, no, Jesse. Oh. Wait a minute. Did he come back again? No, this is just a replay. Oh, here's my... Stop what you're doing, turn and face me. Whoa. You wanna, you wanna know what he did? Jesse, put out the lighter. He poisoned the little kid. You know, just as a move. I want a bastard. But I need you to put out the lighter, okay? Where did Hank come from? You see, I don't wanna kill you. You can't keep getting away with it. He won't. Uh-oh. <laughs> you really wanna burn him down? Let's do it together. Wow. No way. Okay. Oh my goodness. Come on. Are you kidding me? He got him. Are you kidding me? That's why the car was still there. I was like, where did he go? Did he 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 walking down the street somewhere? Right. Jesse. The one thing that Hank needed. And look, look. look. It, it happened that fast. Literally that fast. Where was Hank? How did Hank just pop up? Is my thing. Following me? Yeah. Oh, Seems that's why he left work. Where are we going now? DEA. Downtown. Good witness for me. It'll go better for you. Yeah, sitting around in D.C. Waiting to be a witness against oh. Mr. White. It's, <laughs> it's going to go great for me. He's high. Yeah, that's why that's why he had that, that C D. Yeah. That white stuff on the C D. I didn't know he was using. Or at least using that. So What's the story here? Uh something's come up. I, I thought you might want to get out of the house for a day or two. Why? What's going on? You, you know, the thing with Walt, there's been a development. Who's at his house? Are you in danger? No, no, no. See? Look. What? Well, he got Jesse at his house. Right? Okay, okay, so listen. I know it sounds crazy, but this is the, the, the best place for him. Day, two times. Okay, just answer me this one question. Is this bad for Walt? Yeah, very. Good. I'm staying. I'll eat <laughs> lasagna. <laughs> she want to know. Home. She want to see all the details. She probably want to talk to him. Right. She like, I'm, I'm in this with you. I'm in this with you, Hank. Uh-oh. Oh, he's gonna check the messages. No, no. Jesse, listen. Uh, I mean, obviously, you changed your mind here. And, and I know you're angry. I wanna fix this, okay? Whatever it takes. <laughs> right, we'll talk and we will fix this. Oh, man. I mean, he didn't say anything incriminating. Mm -mm. But he knows that Walter's trying to reach out to Jesse for something. 
He was like, why would he be trying to call Jesse? Right. What would you want with this little boy? <laughs> Even though he's a man child. Okay? Exactly. Crystal Blue Persuasion. Hey, what are you still doing up? Couldn't sleep. You and me both. Here, have a seat. Everything okay? Hey, told you not to worry, remember? How could I not worry? Lung cancer take me down? Not a chance. I'm not going anywhere. Oh. Uh, wow. This is good to see. Father and the son, father and son hugging. It's good to see, but I hate that he's like telling him so many lies. You know? Yeah. Trying to cover it all up. Right. I think Walter down there trying to come up with a master plan. Mm hmm. You think he's going to try to kill Jesse? No. I mean, if he if he knows that he's talking to Hank, very, very possible. He might really, really consider doing it. But if he doesn't find out that he's talking to Hank and he he's <laughs> that he's had contact with Hank and been at Hank's house, I have no idea. Uh oh, it's probably really setting in now. Would you like some coffee? Jesse, you all out of bounds with this one. Oh. You see? Oh, he's setting everything up. He's trying to get a confession. Mm hmm. And, he, and who is this? this that's, that's not Ramey, but that's one of his partners, though. That is him, isn't it? Oh, no, that's not Ramey. Yeah. That's the guy that is in the office with him. This is probably going to take a while. Uh, you remember uh, Agent Gomez? Gomez. This, this, this can't be what you mean by burning him to the ground, right? You know, it's just my word against his word kind of stuff. So, you know, I don't really have any, like, proof or anything. So. Gomez, can you uh, grab the curtains over there? Yeah, like, I am not concerned with that right now. <laughs> I got you here, Jesse. Gomez. You know he's retired, so you're never going to catch him with a camcorder. We're going to catch him. You got to do this first, okay? Come on. Uh-oh, is he finna turn witness? If that's not the fastest way to make somebody uncomfortable... Just, uh, tell us everything you remember. Okay, no. Any uh, business dealings, <laughs> any personal dealings... I got anything and everything. Just tell us your story. When, when did you first meet Mr. White? I first met Mr. White in junior year chemistry. He was my teacher. Oh... Look, 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 they just cut all that out. I hate to admit it, but I think the kid is right. There is no physical evidence. Not that I heard. Say we start with this. Jesse, I'm going to be at Civic Plaza tomorrow at noon. I hope you'll give me the chance to explain myself. Talk through everything once and for all. I'll be alone and unarmed. I'm in your hands. Oh, he just left that message to him. Uh, go and talk to that asshole. You, you can't be serious. Go and listen. He wants to explain himself. We put a wire on you and let him explain. Your plan is to do his plan? Why not? If I go to this plaza, I'm a dead man, is why not? Hey, Walt's ruthless. I agree. Except when it comes to you. He cares about you. <laughs> Can't you see? Yeah, no. Mr. White's gay for me. Everyone knows that. I mean it. Uh, he paid for your rehab, ran over those two drug dealers with his car. So it sounds like he saved your life. Uh, made you a 50-50 partner. He didn't need to do that. I mean, the plaza is one of the most wide-open public places. And Angie Gomez and I will be right there with you. Look, look, you two guys are just guys. Yeah, I don't Mr. Get it. White, he's the devil. Mm -mm. Oh. Yeah, he is. He is smarter than you. Whatever you, whatever you think's supposed to happen i'm telling you the exact reverse opposite of that is gonna happen this is not asking unless you know another way to get the man then this is it this is what's happening i gotta piss can i piss yeah down to the left he told him about running him over running him over what? poisoning what right what if it's a trap oh you mean the junkie murderer that's dribbling all over my guest bathroom floor i don't think he's right Hankman gets killed, and we get it all on tape. <laughs> Hank don't care nothing about Jesse, see? Right. At this point, Hank is just trying to get what he Remember, needs to get. Remember, you're hurt, angry, but you're here for answers, okay? But don't uh, get him suspicious. All right? Let him do him talking, right? Time to go. 
Wow. I never thought Jesse would turn witness. I know. Be an informant. He's told him so much already. He told him everything. That was just the last straw. When that Je wouldn't be enough to like get him arrested? It's kind of like his word against his word. And you know, Jesse isn't the most credible witness either. Oh, look at him. Oh, uh, this is getting good. on this? It's just standing there. Jesse think Walter got back up. Who's that guy? He's on the I mean, you never now. know. Oh, no, 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 kid, come on. He's at the payphone. See? Hello? Nice try, asshole. Jesse, where are you? No, uh, I'm not doing what you want anymore. This is just a uh, heads up to let you know I'm coming for you. Next time I'm gonna get you where you really live. Jesse, listen. Jesse! Oh. Dang. <laughs> uh oh. I told you. Jesse. There's is... no coming back between them two now. He is flipped. Yeah, ain't no coming back. You're right. Like a coin. Man. Completely. Oh, no. Are you serious? And see, Walter didn't even have anybody watching his back. Get it. Son of a bitch. What the hell was that all about, huh? What were you thinking? Thinking there's another way. What? To get him. There's another way. Oh, man. He thought that that oh, wow. was somebody. <laughs> how, though? How they gonna get him? <coughs> hey. Walt. I, uh, Todd, I think I might have another job for your uncle. Oh! <laughs> oh, not but the uncle! What's the job, oh, though? Oh, dang! Oh, what's the job? Babe, you know what the job is. Just, just Seriously? Like they had the job at the prison, okay? They had the job to do. do this, too. And, and, and Walt let him know, like, oh, shoot. What, yeah, what yeah, he, he did. He had, a, he had a job for 10 people. You know you know what, what the job is. But is the job for just Jesse, or is it? could it possibly be for Hank, too? I don't know about that. I don't think... I think, I think probably Jesse at this point. Probably because he knows. Jesse, yeah. After, after they had that phone call and, and what Jesse just said, I think... Walter, Walter, or AKA Heisenberg, feels that Jesse is probably gonna try to kill him, if anything. Or he's so they don't he don't because Jesse don't want to talk anymore. Yeah, and he don't know that Jesse is with Hank anyway. No, he doesn't. He so doesn't. so yeah, we holding on to that. But oh y'all, so Jesse was about to burn the house down. Okay, literally about to burn the house down. Okay? Right, and then, but I'm just trying to figure out. Well, Hank probably was following him. He said he was. He asked him. He said, "Were you following me?" He said, "Yeah." So I he was. was following him. So, so I mean, I guess at the end of the day, his house got saved by Hank. But this is all bad. This is all bad. Like it's get. It went from bad to worse. Like yeah. And at like this he, point, Jesse he gave that confessional. Everything. Yeah. Because like at first he at first Walter gave that confessional, and it was almost like now Hank was in a rock and a hard place because he couldn't use it. So so it was almost like everything went to a standstill. But now Jesse didn't came into the picture. Right. Oh, man. I don't know. I, I don't know. This is just getting so bad, babe. One, th one thing I can say is that I, def I, def I definitely don't have, I, de I definitely don't like Heisenberg. I definitely don't like, I don't either. Because, I don't like Heisenberg because either. Because Walter doesn't exist anymore. It's just Heisenberg at this point. Yeah, but see, he, the greed, it was the greed that got him to where he is now. Like his, his ego and the greed, okay, yeah. to say the least. He just didn't want to stop. He didn't want to give it up. And shoot, I feel like I said he's a master manipulator at this point. Mm -hmm. Like he can really kind of get what he wants by using his words and and getting people to do stuff. The for ultimate him. Manip manipulation was manipulating Jesse into thinking that Gus poisoned Brock. That's right. like the that's like the tip of the iceberg yeah. because you use the kid, you use the child. When you kind of use your own words and talk about Gus about killing, you know, when Gus kids. killed the kid, and now you over here yep. using the kid for the same exact reason but to, I've been to get your way. Yeah, I thought the whole time that, that that Gus was the person that poisoned Brock. We did too. I did too. 
<laughs> until the end of the episode when oh, he had so the lily of the valley in his in his backyard. Right. Uh, until then, I didn't know that. And then, and then but we, I didn't know how. We didn't know we how. Didn't, they that didn't that show how. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. And then Skylar's on to him. So Skylar's like insinuating it. He needs to take Jesse out as well. So she on the same page. Okay, so like how is this going to end? Right. And the only way that they going to get it to end is if Jesse doesn't talk, which he's already doing. She didn't argue. He didn't, he didn't hold it all. He didn't spill the beans. Yeah, Skylar and Marie aren't talking, so she can't really say anything to her, you know, because Marie is just like, you know, take him out. She don't really care either. But yeah, she don't care for, for any of them. It's just going all bad for Walt at this yeah. time, at this point. Like, I don't think he's going to get away with it. Yeah. At this, now, like, after right watching now. that, he got Jesse in his custody right now. He at the crib. Yeah, but Jesse violated by going into their house. And, and now Skylar found out. So she like she didn't like Jesse anyway, so. Right. But, but I'm saying, now I don't think that he's going to get away with it like he was. Who? Walter. I don't think, would, would, you don't would think Jesse he, having, or, you don't uh, think, Oh, you just saying that he? You don't think he finna go scot free now? Now that he's working with Hank now, right? Because wait, because right. he's like he's he he's like the smoking gun, like, right? He's the the main one. He's gonna <laughs> he's gonna get the information that he wants from him. And Hank yeah. been trying to get Jesse for like so long, like so so long, and right. now now he has him in his grasp. So it's just like what's gonna happen next, y'all? Exactly. What's gonna happen next? Oh, I don't know, y'all. Y'all gotta stay tuned in, but hey. if y'all enjoyed this, oh. Be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in yeah. the next video, y'all. Somebody's going to end up dead. Somebody's going to end up in jail.